Have you ever wondered about the intricate tapestry of history that forms the modern nation of Croatia? In the heart of Europe lies the nation of Croatia, a land with a past as rich and diverse as the landscape it occupies. This journey begins in the 7th century. Picture a time when Croatia first appeared on the world stage as a duchy, a territory ruled by a duke or duchess. As the centuries passed, the duchy evolved, rising to the stature of a kingdom by the year 925. The Kingdom of Croatia, while maintaining its distinct identity, entered a personal union with the Kingdom of Hungary in the 12th century. This union was a unique arrangement, allowing Croatia to retain its own ruler and government, while sharing a common monarch with Hungary. Transitioning into the 15th century, we encounter a period of intense struggle. Croatia found itself caught in the crossfire between two major empires of the time, the Ottoman Empire and the Habsburg Empire. This period, stretching into the 17th century, was a defining era for Croatia. The battles fought, the alliances made, and the cultural exchanges that occurred during these centuries played a crucial role in shaping the nation. Under the Habsburg rule, Croatia underwent significant transformations. It was a time of political upheaval and cultural shifts. The Habsburgs' influence on Croatia's political landscape was profound, and their reign left an indelible mark on the nation's identity. As the 17th century drew to a close, the struggles between the Ottoman and Habsburg empires began to wane. However, the impact of these centuries of conflict and transformation remained. The experiences of this era were woven into the fabric of Croatia's national identity and continue to influence its political and cultural landscape even today. Thus, the seeds of modern Croatia were sown during these centuries of struggle and transformation. As the world plunged into the chaos of the world wars, how did Croatia fare? In the sprawling theater of the First World War, Croatia, then part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, found itself thrust onto a tumultuous stage. The war's aftermath brought seismic shifts to the political landscape of Europe. For Croatia, this meant incorporation into the newly formed Kingdom of Yugoslavia in 1918, a multi-ethnic state strung together in the spirit of pan-Slavic unity. The great melting pot experiment had begun. Yet, the peace was short-lived. As the storm clouds of the Second World War gathered, Croatia was once again caught in the crossfire. The Kingdom of Yugoslavia was torn asunder by the Axis powers, and in its place, the independent state of Croatia was established in 1941. But independence was a misnomer, for Croatia was, in essence, a puppet state under the Axis powers, with Germany and Italy pulling the strings. This period was marked by a grim chapter in Croatia's history, as the Ustase, the ultra-nationalist regime in power, committed heinous war crimes and atrocities against Serbs, Jews, and Roma. It was a dark time, a time of violence and intolerance that left deep wounds in the fabric of Croatian society. As the tide of war turned, so too did the fortunes of this puppet state. The Axis powers were defeated, and Croatia found itself once again part of a larger entity, this time the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, under the firm hand of Josip Broz Tito. The world wars left indelible marks on Croatia, setting the stage for its next phase of political evolution. Post-World War II, Croatia found itself a part of the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. But what was life like under communism? Let's delve into this fascinating period of history. The immediate post-war years saw the establishment of a socialist regime under the leadership of Josip Broz Tito. This period was marked by political repression and economic restructuring. The authority of the Communist Party was unquestioned, and dissent was not tolerated. However, Tito's rule was unique in the Eastern Bloc. He distanced Yugoslavia from the Soviet Union's form of communism, leading to a more independent and relaxed form of socialism known as Titoism. This approach allowed for some level of economic liberalization and a higher standard of living than in other socialist countries. The cultural landscape of Croatia also went through significant changes during this period. The regime promoted a new Yugoslav identity, which sought to suppress national identities and foster unity among the different ethnic groups. This, however, often led to tensions, as many Croatians clung to their national identity and resisted assimilation. In the realm of economics, Socialist policies transformed the country from a predominantly agrarian society to an industrial one. The government invested heavily in infrastructure, education, and healthcare. However, this period was also marked by economic instability, with periods of growth followed by severe economic crises. 
Societally, the communist era brought about increased literacy rates, improved health care, and significant strides in women's rights. However, political freedoms were greatly curtailed, and a culture of surveillance and fear was ever-present. Despite the profound changes brought about by socialism, the desire for a distinct Croatian identity and self-governance never waned. This longing for independence, fueled by economic instability and ethnic tensions, would eventually lead to Croatia's secession from Yugoslavia. The era of communism brought about profound changes in Croatia, yet the desire for independence remained. As we move into the final stages of our journey, we'll explore the tumultuous path to independence and the birth of the modern Republic of Croatia. In 1991, a new chapter began in Croatia's history with its proclamation of independence, but what did this mean for the people of Croatia? Let's delve into the events leading up to this monumental moment. The late 20th century was a period of significant upheaval throughout the world, and Croatia was no exception. It was a constituent republic of the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, a country marked by its unique brand of socialism and the strong hand of its leader, Josip Broz Tito. However, the death of Tito in the early 80s and the subsequent political instability set the stage for Croatia's push for independence. It was a turbulent time. The cracks in Yugoslavia's unity were becoming increasingly evident, and nationalist sentiments were on the rise. Croatia, with its distinct cultural and historical identity, was at the forefront of these movements. The first multi-party elections in nearly 50 years, held in 1990, led to the victory of the Croatian Democratic Union, a party advocating for independence. And as the political climate continued to shift, the call for autonomy grew louder. Finally, in June of 1991, Croatia declared its independence. The world watched as a new nation emerged, but the road to independence was fraught with challenges. The Yugoslav Wars, and particularly the Croatian War of Independence, left deep scars on the country and its people. But despite the turmoil, Croatia persevered. Independence brought about significant changes in Croatia's political, cultural, and economic landscape. A new constitution was adopted, establishing a democratic framework for the country. The cultural identity of Croatia, with its rich history and traditions, was brought to the forefront. Economically, Croatia transitioned from a socialist economy to a market-oriented system, opening new avenues for growth and development. But perhaps the most profound impact of independence was on the people of Croatia. It was a moment of self-determination, a chance to shape their own destiny. It brought about a sense of national pride, a renewed commitment to preserving their unique culture and identity. Independence marked the dawn of a new era for Croatia, shaping the nation we know today. From the Habsburg Empire to the modern republic, Croatia's history is a rich tapestry of cultural and political evolution. We've traced the intricate threads of Croatia's past, unraveling this rich tapestry thread by thread, era by era. We journeyed back to the days of the Habsburg Empire, when Croatia, even though in a personal union with Hungary, maintained its own distinct state with its ruler and government. This period was an age of cultural and political development that set the stage for the events to come. Next, we navigated the turbulent waters of the world wars, witnessing how Croatia was shaken and shaped by global conflict. From being incorporated into the Kingdom of Yugoslavia after World War I to becoming a puppet state allied with the Axis powers in World War II, these were pivotal periods in Croatia's history. Then, we ventured into the era of communism and the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. This period saw Croatia as a constituent republic, a time marked with significant political and social changes that would later play a crucial role in shaping the modern state. Finally, we arrived at the dawn of the modern republic. In 1991, Croatia proclaimed its independence from Yugoslavia. A new chapter was written, a chapter that continues to unfold today. Understanding this history, this evolution, is crucial to appreciating the present. It's like peeling back the layers of an onion, revealing the heart of Croatia. It's a journey filled with conflict, change, and ultimately growth. And it's this journey that helps us appreciate the beauty and resilience of Croatia today. As we delve into the past, we gain insights into the present. Continue this journey of discovery with us. Subscribe to our channel, like and share our videos, and remember, knowledge is power.